And you know what's interesting is the heart-mind coherence. So, and Allah is bringing that into sync here. See, that the, the heart, the, <laughs> the brain and the heart, or whether you want to say the mind, or but the brain, mind, uh, brain, heart coherence that you have, bringing it into sync, and because we we have these thoughts, we have these people have aspirations, they have, and and you know when you the power of belief. See, you can have a vision, but then it needs that emotion. And this is why a lot they're saying about transgression, forbidding transgression. When a person is transgressed against, you see, there's an, uh, an amazing hadith that da'watul um, mazlum, the dua of the oppressed person reaches God. Why? Because normal person makes dua as well. Ya Allah, give me a mansion. Ya Allah, give me this. There's nothing, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not a bad dua. Just if somebody said, Ya Allah, make me a billionaire. It's not a bad dua. There's nothing wrong. I mean, it makes no difference to Allah what you're asking for. The thing is that, you see, this is coming from the brain. And the brain is generating it. It's true. It's coming. And the more you're thinking about it, the more you're visualizing it, it's coming. It's taking its kind of life to, and if it's accepted, to manifest in this world. But it doesn't have the emotion to carry it. And this is why if that thought is met with heart as well, the synchronicity of brain-heart, this dua, this is why people often see that, you know, with uh, the hadith, that it is that, that Allah hears it because this is how it sets off. From this world, and this is what Allah is saying about baghi, about transgression, that this forbidding the, and you've got here, yaidukum laallakum tadakkarun, and this is what's being um, admonished to you or taught to you. You could say I don't know if preached is the right word, but admonished to you laallakum tadakkarun. And what's interesting, in the hope that you may remember, and why remember? Because you already know good from bad. <laughs> you see, it's not talking about little fiqhi issues. You have to learn good from bad. Most good and bad at this level, what it's talking about, people already know it. So it's admonishing you in the hope that you remember, not learn. You remember. Because remember, you, you know it's it ain't right being unjust or transgressing. You know these things. It's not an information deficit. So yeah, I thought that's so important to, to share that. May Allah make it easy for people. I mean.